this note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Well, for God's sake, just ask them. Well... Pity, but I've got no time to lose. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. Could you tell me where this sword comes from, please? Certainly, sir. How did such a sword come into sir's hands? My good man, I'm afraid you're overstepping your role. You're the one who's supposed to be giving the answers, not me. Naturally. I hope this... Will forgive me. If I were, sir, I would look in the garden. This sword looks like it's from the garden statues. And how can I get into the garden? There are two ways, sir. The first way to get to the garden is by the hall between the conference room and the portrait gallery. The second way is directly through the portrait gallery. So I would just have to go out by the French windows. Thank you, my good man. Is everything all right, my young friend? Wonderful. Isn't that lovely? Well, see you later.
sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Icarus. The son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. <laughs> Pity. If I remember rightly, Icarus was the son of Daedalus. He found himself confined to the labyrinth with his father after his father betrayed Minos. And his father's plan to escape from the labyrinth wasn't any more successful. Man, that kid was jinxed. Well, let's keep going. Theseus, son of Aegeus, he's the one who slayed the Minotaur. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. As long as a finger. I'd say between six and eight centimeters. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Minos. Son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her threat. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. His gesture sealed his fate. In mythology, King Minos was known as a wise and just king despite the fact that he deceived Poseidon. As punishment, his country was devastated by the white bull of the sea god, and his wife became passionately in love with it. From their union, Asterion was born, sadly known to us as the Minotaur. The illegitimate child, the child of shame, who had a sorry fate. And to think that Minos ended up as a judge of the underworld. Decidedly, the high and mighty always managed to get away with it.
I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. What is that? It's like a sort of opening mechanism. Knowing Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Pasiphae, daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. I seem to recall that her fate was not something you'd want. She was punished for the sins of her husband. She had to mate with the sacred bull of Poseidon. Nine months later, she gave birth to Asterion, better known as the Minotaur. <laughs> it's crazy to see to what extent women have always been mistreated. When they're not harpies, gorgons, and other witches, they become victims. All right, well, let's continue anyways. Minos. The crack is in the region of the heart. Again? You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to... Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now, get out! <sighs> what was that? That's the third time in three days. See if you're you're in there, mother.
amber. Bandages? Hmm, someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. These bandages are pretty basic. She'll be lucky if she doesn't get an infection. A Greek drachma. One of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Don't move! Wait, I'm not armed. Who are you? Good God, Mother, what have Tell you... Tell me who you are! <laughs> 